Hello and welcome back to All In One. Yes, this is episode 8 and I am Dan Ross Probs. And today I want to actually focus on getting myself some Blaze Seeds. And I want to try and get into a bit of Bees. Now, I don't honestly know how I'm going to get into it, but I think I've got a bit of a plan, okay? So that's pretty much the episode summary, what we want to do. And uh, I've done a little bit off camera, but not too much, okay? I've just been kind of grinding away at a few different seeds. Um, I've also put this together as well. So I've moved my actual um, mixer just here now, and I've set this up. So this is the fan that I got in the previous couple of episodes. I used to uh, kind of like duplicate my ores in a way, but I've set up these special pulse repeaters from the actual create mod that only pulse extend one look but i've just put a lava bucket in there so if i need lava i can cook up things like that if i need fire i've just put a flint and steel up there but i need to actually punch this one and then if i need water i just put it here basically with the actual fan if i just type it in and if i look at the uses you can see bulk blasting bulk smoking and then bulk washing i thought this was quite convenient because i was needing <laughs> quite a lot of um of this special what is it called uh soul dust there we go that's what it is but you need to cook smooth stone then you need to cook soul stone and then you need to cook the soul stone cobble in a furnace it was a lengthy process so i just thought i'm just gonna make this and do it this way and it was a lot easier now why did i actually need these these are because whenever you make any crops that are like mobs in the game you need to actually use soul jars and soul jars are crafted up with solium ingots as we learned in the previous episode um but you also need soul glass but to get soul glass you need to cook all of those different special soul stones oh it's a bit of a pain to do but i thought this was probably the best kind of idea for now so with those soul jars i've actually made eight in total i've actually made a chicken one as you can see i think this is probably my favorite ever plant in this actual mod so far i love chickens if you didn't know already in minecraft and uh yeah i've also got a cow one now the reason of the cow one is because i wanted to get into a bit of enchanting and the whole sure to cut the story really short here is ink sacks now i want an ink sack because this is how i can make a quantity key right a quantify key is that what it's called but it shows or hides and stores quantity labels Basically, it will just tell you how many things you've actually got in your storage drawers. But to get a book of quill, I need an ink sack. And the only way I can think of getting a um, ink sack is by using a fishing rod. Now, I would definitely have not thought of this technique if it wasn't for a comment suggested by the OD. So a huge shout out there for you. Thank you very much for suggesting that. That completely went over my top of my head. I completely forgot you could fish for um, ink sacks. Now, I've had to make this like this because, again, if I hit F3, I'm in an ice spikes. Now, this stuff will completely freeze over if I don't put any crazy amount of lighting over it or put glowstone under it. So, that is preventing the actual ice from forming over the top. Um, so, that's kind of like my pond. But, basically, what I was thinking was trying to enchant this, uh, this fishing rod, okay? And hopefully get in myself some sort of luck of the sea or at least something better lore or something on a fishing rod that's just going to increase my chances because getting ink sacks is quite a pain so that's something i'm probably going to do off camera so it's not exactly a massive uh, issue right now so you probably can see behind me i've got a couple of cows as well um these are what i needed to actually get the uh, the cow seeds so to in order to get a soul jar full up with actual um like an entity inside it you need to make yourself a solium dagger and then you kill them whilst having these soul jars in your inventory and this got me thinking like i could probably make blaze seeds this way using my foul um you know my foul pumpkin technique spawning them in i've got infinite iron now it's not a problem and literally whack them to death until i've got all of these jars full then i could just make some blaze seeds and from the blaze seeds i can actually make myself some blaze rods rather than going in the nether and finding a fortress because i think it's going to take me forever to do so that's something i need to do so hopefully we can speed through that right now that's the plan but yes i just quickly i did do that with chickens and cows just because i don't actually need these guys anymore at all i can get everything from the seeds which is pretty cool um if i'm starving look i've only got 13 pieces of chicken i could just come up to this and obviously grab 
I don't know. I think I could probably just grab nine, I think it is. And you get so much chicken in return. Nope, that's feathers. There we go. Chicken. 18. Just from nine feathers, look. <laughs> and the furnaces aren't there anymore, Dan. I keep doing that. They're, they're here. There we go. So we can cook that. But, to be honest, I don't even need to cook that in there. Because this is why I set all this up. If you put this one on flame, I could just throw this under here. And that will eventually cook for completely nothing. Which is pretty cool. So this is a pretty good setup if you don't have this kind of thing already. But anyway, what I'm going to do is make a ton of foul pumpkins and get a load of iron um, bars. And what we're going to do is kill a load of blazes with this solium dagger and get this blaze seed set up. And the reason I want the blaze rods is just so I can get myself some cactus. Oh, it's like a never-ending circle, right? Uh, just to get brewing stands to make this alchemy catalyst, which then I can throw the cactus in the mana infusion... And we're going to get be able to make this into this nature algorithmic ratio, whatever it's called. And then with this, I can make myself the nature seeds that I wanted. Bit of a mouthful, but I don't really know of another way to get cactus. And there we go. That's cooked. <laughs> I shall be back in a minute, guys. Once I killed all these blazes. <laughs> oh, my God. So I'm just gathering up all the resources I need. I just want to get 64 of everything. I'm just using these plants I've got rather than going downstairs. But I am going to have to go down there just to get some rotten flesh. I hope I've got enough. Um, I know I've got bones in my hotbar, but I don't really want them. Goodbye. I'm I'm rich enough I can throw them off the edge. Right, let's have a look down here. There's quite a lot of zombies there. Oh, easy. There's a whole stack. Oh, my God. Get out of here. We go. <laughs> cool. So that's the foul pumpkin sorted. Um, we can just do that. Boom. Right. So we should be ready to rock. So what I'm going to do is probably play some music and kill a load of blazes. And uh, let's just switch all this stuff out. Whoops, like this. And we can fill these up as we go. I hope this works. Please tell me it's going to work. Otherwise, I've just wasted a lot of resources. But oh, I should be able to get them back. It works! I got a little bit worried. But it's going to take me 40 blazes to kill, get them all. Oh my god. Okay. Is this going to work like this? I might be a bit, bit dangerous doing what I'm doing. Okay, that was a very bad idea. <laughs> I have to do it one by one, I think. Oh dear. I'll just try to speed up process, that's all. We have done it. We only took one death, unfortunately. That's it. Now, I am going to kill this stupid... Higgling guy. It's whining the hell out of me. It's so loud. There we go. Cool. So we should be able to make the blaze seed now, I hope. Boom! It's worked! <laughs> so you're probably noticing I got loads of blaze powder, but if I look at the uses, I can't even turn this into rods. Look, I need a I can make a blaze mesh, a blaze a lantern. There's just no way to make this into actual rods unfortunately um unless there was a way but i definitely did not see it and hopefully there isn't a really easy way <laughs> no there isn't at all look so that's the only way i think we can get blaze rods if um you know you can't find another fortress um so yes all i need to do is literally put that in there oh wow look at that that looks super, super cool. They're all the same shape, but they got their little faces on. Okay, so all I need to do now is literally wait around for that. And I need... Oh, I need eight to get six. It's going to take a long time. Um, But I just noticed what I can make with this is something called Never Gold. Or what is it called? Blaze Gold. What is this? It's not very good. Um, oh, That's what it is. <laughs> okay. But anyway, we got loads of blaze powder now. I don't really know what I need that for. But hey, if we need blaze meshes again or whatever, we got it. And I also got this soul gem. You might have spotted that. Cool. So that's that kind of part done. We can put all these foul pumpkins away for if we need them again. Um, but yes, let's get rid of this and get rid of... Oh, no, we need. We can get experience seeds. That's something else I wanted to point out. 
Um, I'm probably going to work on this off camera, um, but this is something to do with you need to collect experience in a bit of another jar look. Um, I guess it's the same thing. If you kill things, the experience goes in there. But I thought these would be really handy, especially for enchanting. Um, but yes, let's have a look here. We need to look into how we get bees. Um, that is the next thing. While we're waiting around for the blaze rod, this kind of makes sense. Uh, I'll tell you what I'm going to do is probably go to sleep. And I think I'm going to make some sort of like, I don't know, a box or something. Like maybe like a glass or something. Just to encase this one bee spawn egg I've got. Do you remember I got that? There it is. And let's just have a quick look at the quest a minute. There's something called Bumble Zone. And honestly, I just I realized when I was editing last episode, I never touched this block thing, did I? So I don't even know what actually happens. So where's my analyzer? There it is. We still should be on 800, I think, right? Yeah. So I haven't actually touched this. So the question is, do I just give it a go now, maybe? I, I don't honestly know. I don't know what's going to happen. What the hell is that? <laughs> Crap. Uh, what the hell is that? <laughs> Genuinely, I didn't even know that. What? What? Is that thing bad? Oh my god, I need to make a boat. I need a boat. We need to get a boat and save that little purple crab. He can go in the water in the boat. Oh, how cool is this going to be? On Java, you do it like that, don't you? Yeah. Come on, little crabby. Oh, no, I don't want to do that. There we go. He's in. Let's go. <laughs> Come on, Mr. Crab. You're going in the sea. It's not really the sea, but he'll like that. There we go. And now we can break him out of there. Or should I? No, I'll leave him in the boat. He can stay in the boat. If you guys have got a name for Mr. Purple Crab, let me know in the comments section and I'll happily name him because I got myself a name tag. This is all my fishing loot I've got so far. So we can name the crab. If you've got any suggestions, let me know. But Krusty the Crab is always a winner in my opinion. But right, so what the hell's that? Maliite? I don't know. Uh, a Vex? That's not good. Oh my god. Okay, what I'm going to do is probably cut the camera back until if I find anything interesting. Um, there seems to be like a lot of different mobs spawning, so I'm getting a bit curious here. I'm going to keep some leads on me. Um, do I want to have? Oops. Do I want to grab something else, maybe, just in case? Is this how we get into bees? Maybe does this thing spawn bees? <gasps> what is that? It's a bee's nest, but there's also a husk full on armored up. Maybe I'm right. Is this how we get into bees? Honey level zero. If I break that, is there going to be angry bees at me, though? Oh, man. I don't know what to do. I'm going to try it. Okay. Right. I'll be back. Or maybe I can't be back. Oh, we got a witch. So, what I'm going to do, guys, I think, is probably turn this into another time lapse. I think I'm going to go all the way to a 1,000, or I'll cut the camera back just in case something actually exciting happens or I'll talk or something. You never know. I don't even know what this thing's going to do. Um, but the other thing is, I'm under the impression that this is probably going to go to 1,600, right? Because it seems to be doubling each time. The first one was 100, second one was 200, then it's 400, then it was 800. I'm under the impression that this is going to be 1600 or 1600, right? So anyway, I shall be back. Enjoy the music. Oh my god! I genuinely did not expect that, right? Good job I got leads and the glass on me. Uh, this is how we get into bees! No way! Uh, hello, little fella. Oh my god, you're going to make me super rich. Um, Okay, what we can do is just attach him to this fence post for a minute. You stay there. Oh god, I didn't expect that. All right, let's continue on. Maybe we're going to get more than I was right. What? <laughs> a panda? Jesus.
No way. A villager. He's going to nick my bed, isn't he? He's actually just disappeared. Oh, no. There he is. So, obviously, I just got this uh, villager, and he's napping, and he's, like, looking at me. This is so creepy. But um, I've just had been quick, having a quick look at the bees, and uh, there is actually a apiarist. Is that how you spell, uh, pronounce that? Apiarist? Um, which is basically a beekeeper kind of, um, you know, a villager trade. So, that might be something to go down. Maybe he's going to sell these different eggs or stuff that we need. Um, there's an incubator here, but if I look at B... Um, it looks like if I mix these with blocks, they become those bees. I think this is all I can do. Like, I can make a creeper one, I can make a hoarder bee, and I can make an inferior, which is pretty good. Um, so from there on, I guess this is it. I reckon DRP is going to become a beekeeper. <laughs> but yes, I need to trap this guy in a box now. He's obviously stolen my bed. Um, you can just stay in there for a minute with your weird creepy head. Uh, <laughs> it doesn't matter. You can keep my smink, stinky bed, smelly bed, or whatever you want to call it. And uh, yeah, let's continue breaking this thing. What are we on now? Okay, we've got a bit to do. What? Just a wandering trader. Okay, that's pretty rubbish. I've seen a few of them already. I don't know where you've gone, bro. You've gone invisible. Apparently, I'm scary to you. You can genuinely get anything from this one block, can't you? Come here, little froggy. Oh, this guy is so cute, man. It's snapshot day, dudes. <laughs> I'm sure you understand what I'm talking about from Twitter. Whenever there's a snapshot, they they post um this little frog with like anything to do with a snapshot on it. Oh god, you're gonna have to just come here as well, aren't you? Come on, you come in the lake with all this. Good job I made this thing, wasn't it? Come on in. Hopefully you don't drown. Gosh. <laughs> this is so weird. What is going on? Totally not exactly what I thought was gonna happen. Go away. That's quite a lot of X's. Okay, we got another turtle that I definitely do not need. Quick, flap your wings or things or whatever they're called. Oh no, a beehive. Two, three. That should be 1,000. Cool. We'll leave it at that because we've done 200 there, but I wish I did that sooner because that's how we get the bees. Right, um, Mr. Turtle, you can go in there and you live in there with your friend. I think the other turtle must have um, accidentally fell off. Oh no, he's in the boat! <laughs> How did I not spot that? Oh god, this is so stupid. I'm so confused. We got a block called Jasper. Oh god, I don't even know what's going on here. I got too many weird blocks that I have no idea what they do. I got all of this sat here that I need to pick up. God, busy, busy. So I pretty much cleaned up my inventory look. Um, that was very exciting, very, very cool. We've actually got four bees, a load of turtles and a frog and a couple of things. And we got this villager that's just staring at this anvil weirdly what is with you you're really weird um so yeah we can actually make this guy into any profession right but what i want to do before i do anything else is get this cat this hopefully we've got enough here yes we've got seven i think i need one more right how long has that guy left perfect we've got one minute so what i'm gonna do is go into the nether get myself some crimson stems so i can make um crimson planks and i can get some crimson beehives on the go um, because I want to, I want to make them new beehive. That looks pretty cool. Right, we're going to be able to make this cactus, guys. I can't believe it. This is a crazy episode again. There we go. We got blaze rods. Unbelievable. Right, this catalyst. Let's have a look here. We need living rock, which I could definitely get. And I need a mana pearl. Ah, that's something I didn't think about. 
Instead of fire, yes. Okay, let's go down here. Ouch. Ouch. Love going down there. It's my favourite place ever. <laughs> right, I think what I need to do... Ooh. Oh, is it that eclipse thing again? Yeah, it is. Get out of my pool, you idiots. There we go. Cool. One mana pearl. Beautiful. Then we need two Berean stands. Okay. And just some living rock and two pieces of gold. Very, very easy. I've just made a load of sand and it's just going to change into glass using my lava fan setup. This living rock is all done. And what we could do is gather all this. And then we can actually make this catalyst, I hope. I think I've got everything I need. Boom! And then all we need is a slime ball, right? So we chuck that in. I don't know how this works, though. I don't understand how this works. I don't know what these do. Is that right? Do we do we actually throw it in? Maybe I have to be holding it whilst having a slime ball? Oh, I don't really know how this works. We're going to have to go and get some slime in a minute. Let's get like a couple pieces. Because I need four in total. Let's quickly grab this glass before it burns away. Boom. We got all of that. Let's take that. Nice. Right, how does this actually work? Do I put that in with it? Hmm. So, I've been looking into it. From what I can gather, this alchemy catalyst has to be underneath this for, for it to work. It does! Okay. That's how it works. Oh, wow. It actually comes through. That looks pretty cool. And there we go. We should be able to make some cactus. Apart from that one didn't. There we go. Nice. Does that mean that's ruined that now? So if I was to go in and chuck a, I don't know, a iron ingot, right? Because it should change to mana steel. Is that not going to work now? No, it still does. Okay. Hmm. And there we go. I think I've got all the ingredients I need to make these nature seeds. I think this is it, right? And boom. There we go. Perfect. So that means I can pretty much make any product now without needing a lot of stuff. If I look at the uses of the nature uh, actual essence, there's a lot of different stuff in here. But most importantly, there is grass. That is very important. And obviously cocoa beans. They're quite hard to get hold of. Might need brown dye at some point. So I'm going to chuck this one in here. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is probably put something together, like a box or something, and then transfer these bees into it. Um, hopefully without causing any issues, i.e. getting stung and killing them. Because if I kill the bees, it's going to be a bit of a problem for me to get them back. I mean, I reckon that this thing probably goes out to about 1,600 at least, I would say. I'm not 100% sure though. Um, but what I'm going to do is probably just put this here for now as a bit of a temporary kind of thing. Um, if you remember earlier, I did smelt up quite a lot of um, glass. And... This is the main reason for it, just so I can make these in here. Um, okay. Now, I've played um, a mod pack before called Sky Bees, and there was a lot about bees in it, but it was a different bee mod. I need to put this in the middle, I would say, because if you put this on the outside, they can climb out of there as well. So I need to make sure I leave that like that. And then we just need to put some flowers in here and basically close it all up. Um, I'm going to just use that because I'm an idiot. What we can do is just do something like this. Again, this is absolutely terrible what I'm doing. Probably I should have put a campfire under that thing, right? So I don't think there's a smoker in this. The other B mod pack I played with before, oops, um, had a smoker in it. Um, no, definitely not. So we're going to have to make a campfire, I think, and just put that under that, um, that actual beehive. So what we can do is break that again. Those bees over there might get angry. No, they're okay. And... Yeah, we can just put like a piece of glass there for now and do something like that, right? And we could just put a campfire under that quickly. And then that's protected for me. So then I can easily um, extract honeycomb from it. And obviously the actual honey as well. Um, okay, so we need to... Probably we need to get some wood and make this thing, right? Yeah, okay. Well, I could put my orchid back now. We're going in here. This is your new little box home for a minute. Come on. Come on, little bee. There we go. He's gone straight in, look. What? <laughs> if I knew that before, oh my god, you can actually pick these guys up. That's brilliant. And he's gone straight in. 
I knew you could pick up chests and stuff, but not mobs. Oh, wow. Okay, we could just chuck that under that. That's smoking away. That, hopefully... Oh, it tells you the honey level. Now, that is fantastic. Okay, so what I need to do then is put a little door on there. I don't think I've actually got one. Um, so we're just going to make a, a terrible wooden door. Again, this is only temporary for now. Um, it's just so I can literally get some honey and get this book to understand what I need to do. Because I don't really want to... Um, how the hell did you get out of there? <laughs> how did you get out of there? Jesus, this villager man, he's like a creepo. What What the hell are... What is going on with you? You can stay in that box now. Jeez. Okay, so the bees come out, look. Um, obviously, it's becoming morning. Right, we need some flowers. We, we're going to get loads of flowers for these guys. So I've just been looking um, into bottles as well. There is something in here called a bottle of bee. I genuinely don't know what this thing does, but there's a bottle of endermite and a bottle of silverfish. But it's all to do with buzzy uh, bees. Um, I'm a bit under the impression. Do I just collect these with this? I mean, are you joking? <laughs> so is that like a spawn egg now? It genuinely is. Oh my god, that is amazing. So not only you can you can't just you can just like pick these up. Um, hopefully I can grab him. There we go. <laughs> I think that is genuinely the funniest thing in the world. You can just literally pick up bees. But not only that, you can actually just pick them up in a bottle and store them away for another use. That is amazing. Okay, so I hope they've gone in there and not died. Um, I wish there was a way of telling me, but maybe this other other thing is going to tell me. Okay, right. Rather than leaving them fly around, we're going to leave them in there. And uh, did I get the leads back? Yeah, I did. Good. So next up, I want to make myself a centrifuge. Um, I need myself a grindstone for this, and I've got some iron on me already. And uh, yeah, we can make this thing. Boom. Now, that was actually a quest for the Bumble Zone, but I noticed that we get some honeycomb from it. Oh, is that all we get? Okay. Porcherous honeycomb block. A honeycomb block filled with holes. You can store honey into this block with honey bottles. Okay, so what's the recipe? <laughs> I don't know how we get that yet, but it does say it is something to do with the Bumble Zone. Maybe we get there's a, a one block that is just the Bumble Zone. I don't really know. This is all new to me. And how, what does this centrifuge even do? Oh, my God. Oh, I know how this works. You basically put these things in there. You put bottles in there and it changes it. Oh, so I don't... All I need to do is use this to get myself a honey bottle then, I presume, right? That's pretty cool. And what are these slots then? Are these upgrades? I like this GUI. It's very simple. Oh, right. No, it's not. It's not as easy as that. A lot of honey needs to go in there before. Now, is this thing getting filled up? Yeah, honey level three. Okay. Interesting. We are learning a lot about bees today. <laughs> now, a question is, before I do anything stupid, if I break that, does it remember how much is in there? No. Okay, that's a bit of a shame. Okay, I think I'm going to keep the honeycomb for now because I haven't got a lot of it. And if I don't get any more... I will be pretty screwed. Um, honey level. I can't remember what it actually goes up to. I think it might be five. Um, okay, so we can get rid of that. So the advanced crimson beehive is what I want to look towards next. So I need a campfire and some normal shears. Um, but the main reason I want this bottle is because... Um, a honey bottle is so I can make the book. So I can read up about it. I mean, I, again, I could just go on Google or something. But I'm not going to. Um, okay, well, let's make another campfire then. Campfires are our friends, especially with bees. Two of them, one of them, one of them, a beehive, and then three of them. Yeah, there we go. Advanced crimson beehive. Got to work, bees. Advancement made. Where's the bees? Hmm, can't see it. It might be just randomly. What can we do with that? Oh, this is a bit different. So we can actually interact with the beehive. It's got three things there. A bottle and this. I wonder if you can store bottles in that. And it changes it in automatically into stuff. If it does, that is huge. Probably because it's got shears. And it's got a um, campfire attached to it. <gasps> it's full. It's full. Um, probably you can uh, take stuff without them needing a campfire underneath. Right? 
Here we go. Be our guest! Oh my god. Right, we just need a book. And we can find out what this is all about. I know I had paper somewhere. Here we go. So, one book. And one honey bottle. Question mark. Oh no, it's not. It's this, isn't it, first? There we go. That's why we need it. Oh, we get the glass bottle back. Okay. Now we can make the book. Aha, here we go. Right. Advanced beehives. Advanced hives. Yeah, we've already made that, so that's not a problem. Advanced hives feature a GUI from where you can see which bees are currently inside the hive. Ah, as well as take out any produced resources. Advanced hives can be further upgraded using an expansion box. Attaching an expansion box will increase the bee capacity to three to five and allow upgrades to be installed. My god, this is amazing. Uh, a box. Okay, it was spout like that, but maybe it's like this then. Ah, expansion box, look. Ooh. So the more of them you put on it, the more bees can go in there, kind of. This is awesome. Anyway, guys, I think I'm going to end the episode there. I do a lot of reading off camera because there's probably a lot for me to learn here. But um, this is a very, very exciting time. So thank you very much for watching. I'm Damaris Probs, and I shall see you for the next one, episode 9. Bye!